Zeta Moon. Yes, I will be doing that throughout the whole video. back to Tokyo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you're watching this, hello. So never mind the backdrop. I'm still in the process of decorating my apartment. I recently moved here. So I tried to put some pictures in the background, but because I'm trying to chase the light right now, this is the best I could do. You can see here my Sailor Moon clear file that I actually framed and this is from when my sister and I went to the Sailor Moon Museum that they had in Roppongi about five years ago. Oh, if you guys missed that, I'm... But today we are gonna do something Sailor Moony. I don't think I've ever done anything Sailor Moony on my channel before, except for maybe going to the Sailor Moon store sometimes. All the time. No, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Today we're going to do an unboxing. I don't know if you wanna call it an unboxing, but we are gonna be opening all the recent Sailor Moon limited edition toys, souvenirs that I purchased during the time of the recently released Sailor Moon Eternal movie. And I purchased quite a bit, so I haven't even opened it yet, so I wanna do that with you guys today. <laughs> I would like to assume that everybody that's watching this right now is a Sailor Mooney fan. I think that's the term for us. Is that the right word? Mooney? Let me Google that. A Mooney is a member of the Unification Church of the United States. <coughs> Fandom slang, a fan of the Japanese manga and anime franchise Sailor Moon. I've been a Sailor Moon fan. I'm not gonna use Mooney, just, just I have been a big Sailor Moon fan since I was really young, since I was in junior high school. So a little bit of backstory about how I fell in love with Sailor Moon. I was in junior high school at the time. At that time, I was having some trouble with my friends. When you're young, you're a teenager, hormones are everywhere. So I was having a little bit of a situation with my friends. I started watching it, fell in love, and started living vicariously through the plotline of Sailor Moon. At that time, it was the one thing that made me happy. My mom used to say, oh, you are gonna grow out of that. That is a cartoon, you will grow out of it. You will not always love Sailor Moon. And here I am today in Japan, and yes, mommy, I still love Sailor Moon. So recently, the Sailor Moon Eternal movie was released. They released it in two parts. The first part was released in January, and the second part was released in February. In January, I really wanted to go see it, but because numbers were on the rise in Tokyo, I had to make a real adult decision and bite my lip and decide that I wasn't gonna go and I was going to wait until numbers started coming down. Now, for those of you guys who don't live in Japan, there's never been a strict lockdown, so I had the choice of still going to see the movie, but try to be a responsible adult, try to do what maybe Sailor Moon would do and not go to the theaters. So numbers started coming back down and in February, the second part of the movie was released. I needed to go see it. So actually on February 14th, Valentine's Day, Yuji and I went to the theater. So you wouldn't believe it, but the movie theater opened at seven in the morning. So I got up at five in the morning to get all jazzed up. I never thought I would actually be able to see Sailor Moon in the theaters in Japan. This is a one of the biggest dreams come true for me and it sounds really nerdy, I know, but it's so exciting that I get to see Sailor Moon on the big screen in Japan. Oh my god. Okay, sorry for geeking out. The really exciting thing when you go to a movie theater in Japan is they actually have like a souvenir section and in the US they don't have that. They have goods related to all the movies that are airing in that theater at that time. And there's a whole Sailor Moon section. I bought a few things. Wow! Share your Sailor Moon memory with me because people who have a Sailor Moon memory or have some sort of kinship with Sailor Moon, they usually have a very special memory with it. So if you guys want to, please comment down below your Sailor Moon memory. Okay, it's like I said, it's not a box, but it's a very large bag of goods that I have not even touched since February 14th and today's March 18th. So I haven't touched it for a month because I've been waiting to do this video with you guys 
So excited to do it with you. What do we got? So the first thing that I have here is actually just a free brochure. This one was released in January and Sailor Moon is on the cover. Can't read Japanese, but over here, they have a little advertisement of some promotional Sailor Moon fashion that is actually being sold at one of my favorite stores here. Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon. Okay, so, whoa, there's a lot of plastic. Double plastic, was it necessary? And tape. Why did they make it so hard to open? It's like, I think because if you finally get it open, you feel like whatever's inside is really I'm really sad because I just realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> okay, so I just looked at my footage and I didn't record me opening up my gacha gacha. I remember what I said. I can repeat that for you. <gasps> I got to see the moon! And that's what happened. This is my gacha gacha. It is now open. And I have put Sailor Moon together already. Oh, look at her! Ooh. Dun dun. So I know you're probably all thinking that this is Diana, but it is not, it is Luna because I'd say so. But it is a multi-carry, whatever multi-carry means, um, lip balm. It's a clear color. There's a light scent of rose. They were selling a limited edition Sailor Moon Eternal pamphlet or book. I don't know, I haven't even opened it, you guys. Look at this art. It's so pretty. When they released Sailor Moon Crystal, I know the artist and the animators probably worked very hard. I blame the art director because it was abysmal. I mean, do you remember how Ami looked? Ooh. Ooh, they have Luna in human form. I always wanted to be Luna in human form for Halloween. Kawaii ne? Question of the day, besides Sailor Moon, you can't choose Sailor Moon, who is your favorite senshi? Who is your favorite soldier? Who is your favorite scout? However you want to call it, who is your favorite? Mine is Rey. She's all fiery, you know? They have all the voice actresses and their signature. Don't know how I can display this, but I need to find a way to display everything I bought. But guys, we are not done. No, 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 no. There was a Sailor Moon newspaper of some sort. Smells like a newspaper. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, the artwork is just so good. It reminds me of my childhood. Okay, so they have Naomi Watanabe. So I gather she's a big Sailor Moon fan. If you ever had a chance to watch Queer Eye, she's on there and she's so cool. Look at her. Look how cool she is. I love her. It has all the profiles for all the characters what their blood type is, which is very popular in Japan. This is so cool, you guys. It looks like a legitimate Japanese newspaper. Like, look at this. Look at the noise. Look how loud. Look how awful the typography is. It's so cool. They have a map on here. I'm not gonna show you. They have a map on here with the location of different spots in Tokyo that inspired different scenes from the movie, like as far as backdrop goes. and. I'm about to make a video on that. Oh my God. It has all the original, um, what would you say, Tonkoku? I believe it's called. All the original comic books, like the cover art. Is this a coloring page? You know, I'm not gonna color it. I'm not gonna ruin it. Sacrilegious. Last item on our list is a surprise mystery item like a fukubukuro type of thing where we don't know what's inside, but we can get any one of these clear files and, 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 and. Okay, so I like all the characters. I'm just not a big fan of Chibiusa, of Sailor Pluto. I like Sailor Neptune. I'm not a big fan of Sailor Uranus. I don't mind them, but it's just not my favorite, okay? That being said, I hope that I either get this one or this one. The odds are not good. 
Oh, I saw yellow, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna show you guys first. Okay, what did I get? Oh, <gasps> lucky! Oh, it's not a folder though. It's just a piece of plastic. A pan in your plastic? Oh, but it's so pretty. I can put this in a frame. <gasps> lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, I'm gonna put this in my room somewhere. Oh my God, my room's gonna look like a 13 year old's room. Artwork is so good this time, I swear, look. So pretty. Okay, so that's everything for my Sailor Moon Eternal unboxing haul, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down below. And hopefully I can do more Sailor Moon hauls with you guys next time. Uh, okay, gotta go. See you. Bye.